Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. And today we're doing my most expensive Project Pan Skincare Edition. You guys know this, you guys love it. This has been, I think this is the third time we've been on it. <laughs> so it started with a collaboration between Rachel Winters and I, and then the community was like, I love that idea. So we have three more collaborators. We have Amanda, Sena, and Lena. Everyone will be linked down below. Please check them out. They are all really fun to watch. Plus, they fix some really fun products, and I'm like, I didn't even hear about that one. Is it good? <laughs> so it's been kind of fun to learn about new products to not spend money on, because we all know I'm trying not to spend money. But like, you know, Christmas list is coming. Let me know if you want to see a Christmas wish list, by the way, because um, the, <laughs> the releases are dropping faster than I can count, and there are definitely some interesting things there that I'm interested in. So it'd be interesting getting your feedback on doing something like a wish list. But that's not what we're talking about on this one. Let's go through my most expensive skincare that I've been using. And so far I've gotten off to kind of like a lackluster start, but I am feeling the need <laughs> to use this stuff. So let's get into it. I've only used three out of the five products in this so far. So let's go through like the duds first I haven't used yet. First one is the Bosha Jelly Ball Cleanser. This is their charcoal version. You can see, still in its original packaging. Um, I realized when I went to go pull this out to use it that I only have a stand-up shower. And you're supposed to keep it in this little plastic tray thing, which causes an issue because then water gets all over this and it never drains out of it. So I'm figuring out if it's logistically possible for me to like put it into the shower each time I want to use it, which sounds totally stupid. But I'm seeing what happens with that, so I just haven't like, I haven't thought that much about it yet. <laughs> I also have not used my Blackhead Steam Pour Pack from Rituals, um, excuse me, no, no, from Kaolin. This is a Korean brand. I also haven't used this up pretty much because I'm coming to the end of my Unmasking Halloween Project Pan, so the masks I've been using there, and I'm really trying to use those up this month in particular, <laughs> so I just haven't reached for that one because I just haven't. <laughs> I don't want to add another mask in when I'm trying to use up four other ones, <laughs> although I'm getting close to, as I said, the end of that project, which should be here like maybe next week. It should be like really close to now. I need to check my calendar. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head, but so that is one I just haven't used yet. I also haven't used any of the samples that I threw in here just for fun. Um, I haven't touched any of those yet. One's a mask. This is the uh, Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Full Strength. Just haven't needed to. And then this one is the Capture Youth Age Delay Advanced Cream by Dior. And the reason why I haven't used this one is because I'm still working on this guy. This is the Dr. Dart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. And I tried to bend this, but it doesn't seem to be bending more than it was initially. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that line. So you can see it, but just so you know, I'm right there. And I feel like I should be further than that. There's a the line right there, I just do that. I, I don't know, I feel like I should be further along than that. This is going to take forever. I do have five months to use this. Um, well, now I only have four months to use this. But that's a lot of product to go through. A little dab will do you on this guy. It is very, very hydrating. Um, I'm glad I'm using it in the winter time because in the summer this would be way too much and you use like a pea size amount per half your face. So I'm not using a lot of this, but I do like it and I'm glad I have it. Um, I will say occasionally when it comes out of my hand, like the liquid comes out before like the solid lotion part, um, which I don't know if that means if this is going bad or not. Um, I'm, I am coming to the end of this lifetime product. Um, it says 12 months and I am, I'm actually reaching probably 12 months here next month. So, um, this is definitely something that I need to keep my eye out on, and I don't think it's gone bad because oh, I haven't even used half of it yet, but I hopefully will get good use out of that. I have pretty good progress right here. This is the this is the Beauty Counter Eye Cream. Um, I'm right here now. Thank God for this bright, bright sun today. It's really nice. So I can tell that I'm here, but I'm still squeezing at the top actually to get it out. Like there's enough air in here, but as I hold up the sun, I can see I am there. So it looks like I've used a third of the product, but as we all know, eye creams are probably not filled all the way up to the top, so maybe 25%, which is good, because then I can definitely use this up in time for the end of this project. And last, I'm really embarrassed to show you, if you don't like gross things, 
Do not look at this. Okay, so I said I had a beauty counter soap, like, bar thing that was $26. And it's been in my shower for the last month. Um, and, okay, this is what it looks like now. It's totally gross. And yes, it's a little wet. Um, you might be seeing like a little dampness in my hair because I showered this morning and I used this. I will say though that that soap crumbles, okay? <laughs> like crumbles. And I don't know what it is because I, maybe I use soap weird. I don't really use soap all that often. I'm not like a pro soap user. <laughs> that a thing. <laughs> Can you be like a professional soap user? Um, but I just like grab the bar, rub it on my body, and then like rinse it off. And that one can go on face or the entire body. And I've been kind of using it as face and my entire body. And it just like, like black pieces will come off. And then I have to like, I try and like rub that in, but it just like falls to the floor of the shower. Like I said, I've got a stand up shower, so I'm not gonna like, I don't crouch down and get it. <laughs> like once it hits the floor of the shower, it's done. It's dead to me. Um, so, I, I don't know, but $26 and that's all the soap I have left, and I've only used it a month. Seems like a lot of money to spend on soap, and I don't think it's like, it's not really pleasing to use. I don't know, it doesn't really suds up, it just kind of like, rolls around your body. I don't know, I would never rebuy that again, to be honest with you. $26 is like way too much to spend on that thing. Um, I would rather spend the ridiculous $36 on this face cream or I'd rather buy the eye cream for $37 than do that soap again. So that's neither here nor there. I hope you check out the ladies. I hope I get more into this uh, products. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that mask actually. I know I like that mask so I'm excited to get ready to use that one up uh, as we kind of move forward throughout the year and I finish certain projects. So. That'll be really nice to dive into. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please check out the ladies I'm collabing with. It's been a really, really fun time, and I hope that you're having fun watching all the videos. I will see you in my next one. Bye.